Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I have another poly gel press on video for you guys. And if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on when I upload. So I have three cool kits from Savvyland and I will be unboxing all three kits for y'all. They are special because each of them have a cat eye poly gel in them. And I was so excited when I bought these because I never used cat eye before. I'm going to try to quickly show you guys what each kit comes with. So I bought these kits a while ago. I want to say almost a year ago. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to find them on their website or Amazon where I got mine from. So I won't be able to link these specific kits in the description box, but I did come across some cat eye poly gel kits from a different brand. And I'm gonna go ahead and link those if you're interested in trying these out. I love this little thank you card that they included. It's so pretty and y'all know I love me some butterflies. This kit comes with some slip solution, and I love how it comes leak proof in a separate baggie. And you get these little bottles of top and base coat gel. They're seven milliliters, and in person, they're so tiny. Here is a 100 and 180 grit hand file, and it feels pretty durable. Of course, a dual poly gel brush with the spatula tool on one side and the brush on the other. And I like Savvy Land's poly gel brushes because they're actually a decent size. So I'm going to swatch out each color for you guys on a piece of paper towel. And I must say that I loved every single color. They're all super pretty. And the first one was a clear aqua gel. What I noticed about that is the consistency was really loose. It's not like your regular poly gel. This is the cat eye color and it was so pretty. It has purple undertones in it. Unfortunately, I won't be using it in my set today, but I just thought it was so cute. colors up close and my favorites are the shimmery light blue one in the middle and also the shimmery purple color on the end and when I cured the swatches I noticed that the purplish color was temperature changing it actually turned a sparkly white basically each kit comes with the same things just in different colors the only difference was that in the purple and pink kit you're gonna see the magnet that is used to create the cat eye effect I previously opened up the blue one and I ended up misplacing the magnet that came with it. And here's the little magnet tool. You can either use either side because both of them work to create the cat eye effect.
here is a close-up of all the colors and like I said before the colors in each kit are also pretty my favorite one in this kit is the clear one with the iridescent glitter and also the second to last one it has sparkly blue undertones so because I felt like the video was getting super long and because each kit came with the exact same thing besides different poly gel colors I just went ahead and skipped unboxing the pink cat eye kit and now I'm just going straight to swatching out each color for y'all Right here I'm showing you guys how I prep my press-ons and I'm using my smoothie block from Enel Couture and I'm just gonna buff off the shiny surface just like you would do your nails if you were doing a full set on them and this just gives us a better foundation for our base coat gel and that's what I'm doing here and then I'm going to cure that in my UV lamp for 60 seconds I decided to use the slip solution from one of the kits but I ended up switching to alcohol and I'll explain to you why in a little bit. These are the colors I chose to use and I wanted to incorporate a few colors from each kit because I love them all. It was so hard to pick one. My original thought was to try to do a vertical ombre but the consistency of the poly gel was super sticky and it was really hard to shape in place. So I ended up using one color on each nail. And also I was using a slip solution that came with the kit and I noticed that it was leaving a white residue on the nails. So I was like, nah, I can't use this. It was coming out a little bit murky. So I switched to 70% alcohol instead. But yeah, I definitely struggle with this poly gel application because like I said, the poly gel was just not working out. It kept sticking to my brush when I would try to shape and pat the poly gel into place. I did have this kit stored in my closet for a little minute and also it was super hot that day in my room and you know the temperature can affect the poly gel's consistency so I don't want to place all the blame on Savvy Land. And also I do alternate in between using base coat gel to try to smooth out the poly gel and also alcohol, but it still wasn't working. But I'm just gonna let you guys watch me work because my neighbors are blasting their music again. I swear they do this crap every time I'm trying to record. It's so annoying. Anyway, I'll pop back in when it's time to decorate these nails because I ended up putting a lot of gems and charms on it. So stay tuned for that. Thank you. 
I decided to leave in some of the filing process because I always cut that part out. It usually takes me at least an hour to file and I just think that part is so boring to watch. But anyway, I'm adding some charms that I got from McCart's Sweet Cravings Poly Gel Collection and I went full on kawaii with this set because a lot of the nails had a lot of imperfections on them because like I mentioned earlier, the poly gel was just so damn sticky and really hard to work with. Um, and I also used some pretty crystals and AB stones that I got off of Amazon. And all charms and stones was applied with my go-to rhinestone glue from McCart. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I do go in with a top coat right after I apply the rhinestone glue just so that I don't have the top coat after I'm done adding my charms and it doesn't look chunky and lumpy.
struggled a bit with the nail set i really love how the nails came out i give all three savvy land cat eye poly gel kits a five out of ten because the consistency was trash but the colors were really pretty and if you like this nail set please give the video a fat thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated with me and thank you all for watching i'll see y'all in the next one bye